Hello everyone. How are you guys doing today? This here is a love reading, okay? I will be doing many readings in this one video. Uh, you can all listen to them. Um, also, um, if it's yours, you know what to do. You know, leave a comment and hit a like. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell and put it on all so uh when i do upload another video or go live you'll get that notification and you will not miss out okay so let's get this started there is a male that is not really that compassionate right now they not really they not they don't really have a heart right now at this moment they're not compassionate they're not feeling sorry or having any remorse uh at all right now because this person has too many priorities too much going on right now to be focused on compassion and hurt and feeling sorry for other people or being very emotional okay uh trying to balance everything out in their lives okay the same like they're trying to they've been juggling everything and they're trying to balance things out all right going through a lot of ups and downs in their life as well right now okay so know that this person here this male is like they're at a turning point in their life right now to where they're at a point of saying you know what enough is enough it's time for me to stop making some changes in my life okay so therefore this person is going through a turning point in their life to start a new life cycle amen so this person is like you know what i'm tired of going through the same thing that i've been going through i have so many priorities i'm trying to balance things out of my life it's all uh, i'm always going through ups and downs trying to juggle everything trying to take care of everything and everybody at the same time trying to make everybody happy including themselves okay so where they don't even have enough compassion to feel sorry uh for others or have empathy for anyone else okay um because they got too much on their plate right now okay so they, they are at that place now where you know what i'm tired of going through the same thing that i was going through okay i'm ready for a fresh start a new start a new beginning a new chapter in my life so this male is going to be having a new chapter in their life a new beginning okay they just tired of the old ways the old things as well all right um, this person is a very innocent person, so if you've been having any doubt about this male, know that this person is innocent, okay? Innocent until proven guilty, okay? All right, so know that this person here is a very adventurous person. They want to go out, okay? The new them is wanting to go out. They want to have like a free spirit. They want to do whatever it is they want to do. Not only just that, but they don't want to argue anymore. They don't want to fuss anymore. They don't want to have any tension. They don't want to be walking on eggshells. Okay, they don't want to feel like we got to compete against everything or everybody or who better than who, who better than that. This person is not, this This person is just tired of it. Okay, and don't want to go through it at any anymore. Okay, so this person here is going to be working really hard, focusing on their priorities because there's so many right now. So it's like this person is really going to be focusing on what this what they really want. Okay, and it's like a new chapter, a new beginning. So they're going to be focusing on everything, making things happen in their life. Okay. Yeah. And doing a lot of soul searching, focusing on their priorities, doing a lot of soul searching, okay, within themselves to see what it is that they need to change and work on. Probably that heart, okay, so they can start having some compassion, all right? Mm. You know, I can't tell you what to do, but, you know. Yes. So that's that with that male. So just know this male here is going to be doing a lot of soul searching to see what it is that they need to change, what it is that they really want, okay? Because they have so many priorities and juggling a lot as well, okay? And they at that place now in their life where I'm just tired of. I'm tired of arguing. I'm tired of fussing. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired. I'm just tired, okay? So it's like a new beginning and a new chapter is coming their way. All right, they're going to be focusing more on their priorities, making things happen, come, making things come to pass, coming to light. Okay, so you may know who this male is. 
just tell them to keep going, keep pushing. Everything is going to work out. Okay. All right. So someone has a secret admirer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you've probably been feeling somebody watching you from a distance. Sometimes you could be uh, uh, outside uh, by yourself and then you'll feel like somebody is staring at you or watching you, okay? Um, even when you're sitting around a, a lot of people as well, I'm seeing somebody having friends. But in your circle of friends on your job, it's like someone there um, admires you, okay? Someone around you in your circle, in your neighborhood, your job, your office, they are, um, they have a, they admire you. So someone has a secret admirer, okay? Not only just that, but somebody was in a relationship with someone else, they like they have commitment issues, all right, didn't want to, someone was dealing with someone who had issues when it came down to commitment. All right, didn't know if they really wanted to be in a relationship, didn't know if they really want to start a relationship at all. Okay, it got to the point to where they didn't even want you uh, mentally, nor emotionally, nor sexually. Okay, this person had a lot of secrets and they weren't talking to you about these secrets at all. Okay. Um, this person here don't want to start over again, but it's like you obsessed with this person. You feel like this person is the one that you should be with. You feel like this person is your twin flame. Okay. And it is not over with. All right. But you got to be careful. Okay. Because it looked like this person is not thinking about you at all. Not spying on you. Not looking at you. Okay. They not thinking about you. Not trying to make your your dreams come true. It's things that you want. This person is not trying to just not trying to give you what it is that you want. Okay, but you got to be careful. Okay, because look like this person is going to want to come back into your life. Okay, they're gonna want to come back and be with you again. All right, but it's like you're gonna be awakened. You're gonna be like really coming to reality as in saying, you know what? I'm I'm found. I finally can see. What's really going on? I think I'm going to need to put some time into myself. Okay? Because when this person want to come back, this person here that wants to rekindle with you, this person here was dealing with somebody else. Okay? So when this person come back, you're going to have to be careful because they will have someone else. Okay? You won't be in this relationship with just you and this person. It will be you, that person, and somebody else. But it's like you're not over with this person. You still got a thing for them, okay? But it's going to come to the point to, well, you make me feel so good. You make me feel special. But it's like I finally opened my eyes. I finally know what's going on now. I need to start taking care of myself. So in the midst of you taking care of yourself and loving yourself, you're still going to be reminiscing and thinking about this person here that you've been with already. Okay, then it's going to get to the point where you're going to start reaching out, calling on them as well. Yeah, you're going to be calling and texting. All right, reaching out, hoping and praying that it works out. Hoping and praying that y'all still can get be together, okay? Because in your heart of hearts, you feel like this person is the one, okay? But when it comes down to this person, it just feels like this is not... This person here feel like you're not their soulmate. They don't be thinking about you at times. They don't think about you like that. But you just feel like this person is the one. You have a lot, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worrying, a lot of insomnia about this person. Even though this person stepped out and on you and is dealing with somebody else, it's like this person did something to you in a relationship. They are not sorry for what they did. Not sorry. Okay. They are not torturing themselves because y'all are not together. But you, it's like you steady being patient. You being patient. You waiting to see if this person going to really come to their senses and come to be with you. All right. And it's like you still have feelings for this person, still got some words to tell this person, okay? Um, even though y'all have history together, 
when if you let this person come back, it's like y'all will be back together again. But then you guys are going to separate because of all of the lies. Okay, this person feel like we got some history together, but it's not enough of history to get me to come back to you and to feel for you and to love you like you want me to love you. But you're still going to be patient and wait on this person because you feel like y'all got history. But this person feel like we don't have history like that. You just still in love with this person. It's something about this person that you just love and you're not letting it go. You're going to be happy at one point because y'all going to end up getting back together. So you're going to be happy. But like I said, y'all going to be happy. Y'all going to get back together. Y'all going to reunite, but it's not going to last long because of the lies. Okay? I do see y'all making a commitment as well. So it's like they're going to come back together. Y'all going to get back together. And sometimes this person might say, marry me, but it's going to be like a whole lot of lies. But you guys going to separate again. Okay, it's like y'all gonna separate because of all of the lies. Let's see if these lies gonna come from you. Okay, so know that this person is gonna continue to lie to you. Okay, so just try to love yourself first. Okay, love yourself, respect yourself more. Okay. Be rom just take care of yourself. Love yourself like you said you was going to do before. Okay? But it's like the more you love yourself, the more you start getting worried and thinking about this person that you already been with. Right now, this person is not ready for you. Okay? They still doing their thing. But you patiently waiting on this person to come back. They're going to come back to you. But when they come back, they're going to come back with, with uh, wanting to make a commitment. Okay? And it's like you're going to take them back. And they're going to be cheating on you again. They're going to be lying on you, lying to you again. And then y'all going to separate again. Okay? So you got to make a decision. Do you want to be happy for a little while? Or you want to be happy with somebody new? Mm. Okay. And what's that? Read number one? Love read number one? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're going through that. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a couple of um, love readings. Y'all know how I do it. Okay, I just know that it is. Um, I know a lot of people are spending time with their family today. I know you all are spending time with your family today. So I'm just going to do something for you guys. And probably try to come back on uh, probably tomorrow or in the middle of the night. All right. Ooh. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Okay, so we get ready to do another love story. How y'all doing today? Hmm? How are you doing? <laughs> okay, so somebody going through a relationship right now. They're in a relationship, but they are constantly looking at themselves. Okay, taking a look at their relationship, trying to see what's really going on with themselves and with their relationship. Okay, not only are they looking at themselves, but they're looking at the person that they are with, trying to examine the relationship. Okay. Um, to see if it's something that they really want, okay? Cause it look like there is a separation, and it's like they're you thinking about it's like you there's a separation, and it's like you're thinking about this person, you're thinking about this relationship, okay? It's getting to the point to where you starting to feel sad, or you trying you finally starting to miss this person a lot, okay? It's gonna get to that point to where, oh my gosh, I need to reconcile. I need to get back with my, get back with them. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, you don't feel like you're gonna want to get back with them. So that's where that self sabotaging is going to come in at. Okay, it's like focus on yourself, focus on yourself, focus on your self worth. Know exactly who you are. Okay. 
But it's like it's time for you to heal. But it's like you're having problems moving on and having closure, closure issues. So it's like even though you're looking at yourself and this person and the relationship, okay, starting to feel sad, missing this person, thinking about this person a lot, even when it comes down to this relationship, it's like you're going to start having feelings of um, moving on. Uh, and not only just moving on, but having issues with like closing as in, let me end this chapter. Let me stop thinking about this person. Let me stop thinking about this relationship. Okay. Cause it's over. This relationship ended because of something else. Not you didn't cause this relationship to end. Okay. Somebody left you and now you're at that place of thinking about you, the person and the relationship. Okay, and it's like focus on yourself, know your self worth because it's a time to heal. Okay, it's a time to heal, so start loving yourself and start appreciating yourself. yourself. All right, because you should be moving on, but you're having a difficult time on moving on. Um, and it's like you want closure. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Come down, okay, but it's like you're having issues, closure issues. All right, but you have to have faith, have faith. Love is coming, okay? Um, some of you might just end up meeting someone through an invite. Like you might go out to an outing, but end up meeting someone there, okay? But don't hesitate because a lot of you are hesitating to um, step out and meet someone still holding on to the relationship of the what was. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So it's like get your strength back. Get your power back. Get your life back. Take back control of your life. Okay. So that whole situation was a heartbreak. It was a lot of pain. Okay. It's like you're going through that separation right now, but get out of, like, snap out of it. You have a closure issue, but you're not going to get it. That person is not going to come and be like, listen, let me give you what you're looking for. That's not going to happen. Okay. That's not going to happen. Um. Mm. Oh. So start looking at things in a different perspective, okay? You got to start focusing on you. It's time for you to heal from this heartbreak, okay? You got to free yourself from the toxic situation, from the relationship as well, okay? This is a toxic person. This was a toxic relationship. A lot of arguing, a lot of fussing and carrying on, you know? So you thinking about them, you think they... Th you're thinking about them, you're thinking about you, and you're thinking about this relationship. So it's like free yourself from this, okay? Free yourself from it. Time for you to move on, and it's time for you to be happy as well, okay? All right. Yep, 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 yep. Who is that? Mm-hmm. Who that one was for? Love in the neck of time. Mm-hmm. Y'all make sure y'all share my live. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all share my live. Okay, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you, Father. Lord, I ask that you strengthen each person, God, with their weak, draw them closer to you. Fix every problem that they have, God. Heal their broken heart as well. Give them the heart's desires, Lord. Draw them closer to you. Lord, give them love, joy, peace, happiness, favor, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, so let me see what else we can get here. Let's see what else. All right, so... For one, you guys have to start learning how to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, okay? Honestly, discuss and talk about your feelings with each other, all right? Someone is not really communicating, but that's something that you need to do.
okay? And it got you at your lowest, lowest, lowest right now. Having you feel like you don't deserve love. You're not good enough for love, okay? So you need to sit down and talk about this, okay? But it's like you're not talking about it at all. Not honestly talking about how you really feel at the moment, okay? This person have you feeling like you don't, you, you're not, um, uh, like nobody can't love you or you'll never find love. Ugh. I don't see your, um, yeah. It's issues that you got dealing with your family also, even when it comes down to this person as well. Some of you may be having issues with your family also. They might not be liking the person that you are with. And as you was growing up as a child, you saw a lot of problems between your mother and your father. And that started affecting you as well. Especially when it comes down to your love life. Because it got you at a point, at a place now where you settle in. Okay, so you have to start forgiving your parents, forgiving your family as well. Okay, forgive your parents because as you forgive your parents, you will start having more love within you. You'll start knowing that you deserve love, also. You'll start knowing that wow, I ended up dealing with or dating someone. That reminds me of my mother or reminds me of my father. That reminds me of how I was raised. Of what was going on with me when I was young, growing up. You're not releasing and not, you're not releasing and you're not healing the past. You're not letting go of the past. You're not releasing the hurt and the pain at all. Okay. So you may have dated someone in the past that hurted you, that cheated on you, got someone else pregnant or ended up leaving you and gotten pregnant from someone else. Um, you have not really forgiven this person at all. Okay. And it's like you still have healing to do. As you heal and as you release all of the hurt and the pain from the past and, and start living in the present moment, you'll start seeing more love. You'll start feeling more love as well. You'll start knowing that you deserve love also. Okay? But know that your true love is coming. Your true love is coming. But you're going to have to trust. You're going to have to start learning how to trust yourself and the person that you are with in a relationship. Okay? You're going to have to start learning how to trust. And that's where that forgiveness come in at. Okay? So when you start learning how to forgive, you'll start learning how to trust. Okay? Even when you're going through problems in a situation in your relationship, it's like it's cause for trust, faith, and listening to your heart and your intuition. All right? But not only is true love coming your way, but know that you are going to be meeting a new person as well. Okay? And this is for all of you that know that you deserve love, but not talking about it, not letting someone know, hey, listen, this is how I really feel. Okay? Know that a new love person... Somebody has already started stirring up some feelings anyway. So you in a relationship right now and you feeling like you're not getting what you want. This person got you feeling like you fit, making you feel like you don't deserve love. Like they don't want to be with you and you having uh, issues with getting them to communicate with you or to come see you or to just acknowledge you as uh, the person that you are with. Just know that there's a new, or someone else has stirred up some feelings for you. Someone has uh, is admiring you. Someone else is watching you. And someone else really want to be with you. They want you to give them a shot. They want to give you a chance. Okay? This person here will end up being the one for you. Okay? You give this person a chance. It's always good to want to be with somebody that want to be with you. 
So if you give this person a chance that really want to be with you, this will be a, a, a awesome relationship. Okay? And you're just going to have to start learning to trust. Trust. You're going to have to trust this person. Everybody is not the same. Everybody is not the same. Okay. You guys. Yes. Okay. So I don't want to be long. You know how I do it over here. Okay. So I will try to come back on again later. All right. Wait a minute. Look like I'm getting another reading. All right. So we're going to try to come back on again later today and see. I might come back on later. But you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that like button. I am Miss Wanda and I am signing out, honey. I know, I know, I know, I know this here is a smaller version of the T. Okay. Look like someone giving somebody the cold shoulder. You giving somebody the cold shoulder. Wow, feeling like this person is not the one anymore. You turn cold on somebody and you are now moving on. It's like you moved on. I don't think this person feels that way. This person doesn't feel like you left them or you gone and you moved on. Okay? It's almost like a Jack the Ripper kind of thing. Okay? I see a three uh, uh, relationship where this person was really being with someone else. Okay? Wow. Wow. There was a lot of passion, but this relationship was um, a lot of chaos, a lot of problems. Okay? But it was a lot of passion. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's like you're thinking about this person also, but it's like you're moving on. Even though you're giving this person a cold shoulder, they still thinking about you, okay? Wow. You still got something for this person, too. But it's like you're moving on. You move on. It's like move on, honey. But you don't really trust this person. You still got, it's still something there. It's still something there between you and this person. No matter what, you might give this cold person a cold shoulder and feel like, oh my gosh, you're not the one. You don't got my heart no more. But you, it's like move on. But you're not moving on because you still got, it's still chemistry there. You still got a thing for them and they got a thing for you. Yes, but it's like trust yourself. I'm seeing that there's going to be uh, communication, 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 and y'all getting back together. Oh my gosh. This is like somebody that was from your past as well. Look like y'all had separated because somebody had some issues. Mm -hmm. But it's like y'all true love. Okay? And it's like this is going to be fake. But it's like reach out to this person because y'all still got some kind of connection. Reach out to the person. Yeah, reach out to this person. All right? You're having a lot of regrets as well. Mm -hmm. Missing this person. Playing games. Mm -hmm. Kind of unstable. One minute you want them, one minute you don't. One, one, one minute you want to move on, one minute you're not. Now you sorry as well. Okay? Still in the same spot because it's a separation. Separation, but at the same spot. Is it going to always be a separation? I see y'all getting back together. Mm -hmm. And somebody is watching somebody, but you're gonna get a, you're gonna hear from them soon. There's a lot of secrets too. There's a lot of secrets. This person hasn't forgotten about you. Even though you're giving them the cold shower, the cold shoulder, not the cold shower, but you need a cold shower. Okay, you need a cold shower. But even though this you giving this person a cold shoulder, they haven't forgotten about you. Y'all still got chemistry. Okay? Y'all still got it. Y'all both got a thing for each other. So this person is still obsessed with you. You're gonna hear from this person also. They've been watching you and spying on you as well. Okay. Um, and what's with the sacreds?
Mmm, you got some secrets. You the one with the secret. Mm-hmm. You the one with the secrets, honey. Yeah. It's things that you need to talk about. You feel like this person is gone stale, like they don't want to do nothing. But they feel like you are the you are the one. They feel like you are the one, but that sometimes they don't want to do anything. They just get to in a place to where they it's like boring. Boring. Always doing one thing. That's all they want to do is just that. They just boring. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to start working on your trust, okay? Cause like you don't have trust issues. Y'all still have feelings. Y'all still thinking about each other. I do see y'all rekindling also. Okay. All right. So it's like reach out. Reach out. All right, you guys. Yeah, reach out. Right now, there's no passion. There's no commitment. Not thinking about the one from the past. But yes, in a way. It used to be a yes. I love you. I love how we were to when we were together. I love how we were when we was together, especially when we first got together. It was hot. It was a lot, a, a lot, a lot of. Uh, it was just a lot of yes. You couldn't tell this person no for nothing, and they couldn't tell you no for nothing. But there was a lot of passion, especially in the beginning of the relationship. Okay, so this person thinks about how you guys were in the beginning, how much love it was, the touchy, touchy, feely, feely, a lot of passion as well. Okay, so this person is thinking about that. Um, this person is thinking about um, proposing to you. I don't know why I told you that. Oh my gosh, I just talked too much, honey. I talked too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just scratch that. Just scratch it. Scratch it. Okay. <laughs> but know that this person does thinks about you and do want a commitment with you. Okay. Yeah. So work on your trust issues. You know what it is that you want to do? Ow. Yes.